I'm Gwen. And I'm Justice. And we're from the East Elgin ELP class. Today, today we will be talking about the different types of birds and how you can identify them. And how they've adapted to survive in their surroundings. The different types we will be talking about today are the songbirds, raptors, and then our main focus, waterfowl. So this is a songbird. This is the Leggerhead Shrike. It has three toes pointed forward, built for gripping branches and perching upon grasslands. Their short cone-shaped beaks are perfect for picking up seeds and other food. Next, we have our raptors. So this is a kestrel. They have keen eyesight to look for their prey from a distance and see them. They've got sharp talons on their feet to help them grab them and fly away. And then they've got a sharp hooked beak to help them tear them and eat them. Our main focus of the video is waterfowls. There are two different types of main ducks. We have our diver, which feet are pointed to their back and when running up on the water, they can just catch the air and soar off. Then we have our dabbler duck, like this mallard. The dabbler duck has its feet under its body with big webbed feet. When they go to fly, they push straight up out of the water and fly straight up. As well as different feet, ducks also may have different bills. This is a canvas back. It has a canvas back bill. The mallard bill is smaller and the canvas back bill is stronger to pull out roots. Um, so right now we'll be talking about how to identify birds. There are a couple different things you can look at to identify them. You can look at their physical characteristics like their size, their bill, the colors, or you could look at behavioral aspects like how they swim, how they fly, what they eat, or you can listen to their calls. You can use a field ID guide to identify different types of birds. This, for instance, is a canvas back. It has a brown head, a black undercoating, and a white top and wings. Next, we have the mallard. The, mallard ha the male mallard has a nice green head, a bright yellow beak, and the orange feet. It is a dabbler with the feet underneath. And it's got the nice white gray back and the brown undercoat. And next we have our wood ducks, one of our smaller ducks. This is the male. You can tell by its bright colors and you can distinguish a wood duck by its bright orange beak and the green head. The female have, however, it has more dull colors that's used for camouflage. And we have our smallest one that we have here, which is our green winged teal. You can, uh, a cool feature about these that you can really tell is there's a little green patch. You can't really see it, but it's right here on the edge of the wing. They've got the brown head with the green stripes along it. And this is also a dabbler duck. We hope that you can use these tools to identify the birds in your backyard. Have some fun with it. See if you can find your own identifications. Mm -hmm.